Today we're gonna talk about five skills to stand out as a web developer. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You gotta slow it down, girl. You moving too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wonder they asking me. If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me. I came up from the bottom, now look at me now, they mad at me. I cannot slow it down, cause it's coming too fast. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's backing out and did it again one more time. Today I got something special for you guys, man. So we're gonna actually do this live, and then later on we're gonna chop this up and make it into its own video. So stay tuned, let's get into it, all right? So I'm gonna start with the first one. Right here, we got five skills to stand out as a web developer. And we're gonna start with the first one, which is convert design into app, okay? If you are a web developer, it is expected of you to be able to take a design created by a designer and then from there convert that into a real life website or a real life web application, meaning that you need to be comfortable with HTML and CSS. And then from there, of course, you need to know JavaScript to add any type of interactions or interactivity throughout the whole application. If you cannot do this, then in reality, like, you're kind of useless in a team, okay? There's some people that say, I only focus on the back end. I only focus on creating, you know, API calls or, hey, I only focus on, uh, you know, the deployment. To be honest with you, you don't want to be that type of guy. You want to be able to go in and say, hey, I can actually build a whole application. I could actually go in and, and make this into a real uh, app because that's what companies are looking for. And especially small businesses, they want you to be productive and not just have one skill, okay? You need to be able to come in and say, hey, if I want this type of application, can you build it? You should be able to say, yes, I can build that for you, okay? Now, the next skill that I have right here is testing tools. Okay, testing is super important. And the reason why testing is so important is because once you make an application live, you want to make sure that everything works how it's supposed to work, especially when you're working on a team and you have multiple developers working on one application. One developer can make a change somewhere and that can break the whole application. But if you have testing, tools already set up, you can actually run those tests and see that everything on the website or the web application is working exactly how it's supposed to, to work. Okay. So using tools like Jess for unit testing, using tools like enzyme for basically doing like some shallow, uh, component testing, especially for react. Um, and also to using Cypress. If you guys don't know what Cypress is, Cypress.io is basically uh, a tool that allows you to create end-to-end -end, uh, testing. So basically, like let's say for example, if you go to a website like Amazon and somebody wanted to come in and say, okay, I wanna order, uh, I don't know, I wanna order a lens, right? Person lands here, clicks here, okay? Clicks right here, adds to cart. You want to test that all of that works, okay? You want to test that all of those things actually work, and basically you could do that with Cypress, all right? So that's a great tool to learn. Uh, by the way, we are teaching that at codingphase.com. If you are a member of codingphase.com, you could easily learn this. Uh, we teach you all of these things that we're talking about in this video. Okay, uh, the testing course is right here, testing for developers. We go in and teach you unit testing. We teach you integration. We teach you end-to-end -end testing. So pretty much everything that you need. Um, so definitely go check it out. Now, let's get back into the next one that we have right here, which is working with APIs, okay? Being able to understand how is it that applications communicate with other uh, backing services, for example, REST, what exactly is REST? Um, getting comfortable if you're working with JavaScript, what exactly is AJAX? Uh, how do you do requests with JavaScript to a, a backend server? How does, you know, different routes work? You know, get, put, right? Patch, delete, <laughs> post, right? Understanding those things is something that is given. Like, 
everybody's expecting you to know those things okay because nowadays this is how the whole web communicates with each other okay you have one application connecting to another application and the way how they actually uh, communicate with each other is by using this type of protocols okay so you need to be comfortable with this at the same time it, it won't uh, hurt you to understand something like GraphQL uh, I think GraphQL in the future uh, might be around for a long time so this is something that you want to invest in, into learning it and understanding how to work with a, a GraphQL or, um, you know, working with Apollo and etc. This is one of the things that you might want to look into. OK, uh, the next one that I have here is storage and tracking. OK, um, basically every website that's out there uses some type of way uh, to keep track of the, the users, either it's by cookies, either by setting up some sessions. Uh, you could also do it by doing local storage. And then we get into the side of tracking from other platforms like Facebook ads, Google ads, uh, Twitter ads, uh, TikTok ads, every platform that's out there that's creating uh, some type of way for a business to be able to advertise they provide you with either tags or pixels so you need to be very comfortable in understanding how that works and how to implement those things into a business okay um, a lot of people are going to ask you about those things and if you don't know it and you just be like well i can code you don't want to be that guy <laughs> okay you want to be that person that is able to talk about things that you know if somebody comes to you and says hey man we're trying to implement the t uh, this uh pixel from facebook on this page and we want to be able to to fire off this event when the user actually lands on the page and then from there we want to fire off another event when the user goes to the checkout page we want to keep track of all of those things you should know what's happening you should understand how these things get implemented and you should know how these things work again we teach all of that codingphase.com we make sure that you are prepared for a job you're prepared and you're going to stand out okay so those are the things that we we focus on and this is why I'm, I'm telling you guys like hey companies are asking for this it's not me coming up with this list and telling you well hopefully you know it no it's like <laughs> this is things that companies want you to know and just being able to be a guy that says i can code it doesn't cut it no more okay everybody can code there's a point where uh you know kids in high school kids in junior high school could do a for loop and could do a function like now we're talking about business if you're gonna go work at this companies you need to understand the tools that they use and the things that they need you to do okay so go ahead and look at uh look up all, all these things cookie sessions local storage tags pixels the next one that we have right here project management okay some of you guys haven't set this up for yourself and i think it's about time that you guys start working like this project management tools like asana jira basecamp click up right those are one of the most popular ones of course you also have other things like you know trello uh that some people use uh to keep track of of their work but it's up to you which one you decide to use but it doesn't matter okay choose one uh, a lot of these platforms they have free uh tools where basically you could use them for free but then the moment that you join a company or you start adding more people into uh the service then you have to pay for it so for you guys that are developers it doesn't cost you anything to get in this state of mind of like hey you know what i need a project management uh tool for myself to be able to keep track of the projects that i need to work on for example if you are a new developer and you're building your portfolio you want to have a deadline for yourself you want to say you know what i want to have my portfolio website done in two weeks so by two weeks i want this done and it should be completed at the same time you want to have sub list of different tasks that you want to do inside of that you might say well i want to do a project about shopify i want to do a project about um you know maybe using something with like react and connecting to some api then i want to go and have an email okay 
so or email uh you know responsive email that you can show off in, in your portfolio so again you want to have all those things in order and set deadlines for yourself okay when you go to these companies they're going to ask you about have you ever worked in a team have you ever worked with any of these tools and you don't want to be the guy that says no i've never done this because that's a clear sign that you know what this guy's a beginner do we have the luxury to train him most companies right now don't have that luxury to just say let's hire somebody and train him as uh, as we go you get what i'm saying most companies want somebody that's prepared and that has actually done this in in real life so even if you're doing freelancing or even if you're just preparing your portfolio right now having this knowledge of how to work in you know in a project management tool like asana or jira or basecamp or clickup like it opens the door for you okay 